Okay, it's about time to put this old bitch in her fucking place right here. Okay, so someone did a. There's a really big channel out there that did a good true crime uh, story about my son's case and about what he did and what he's serving his time for, and Braden Ferguson, the victim in the case. Uh, and they put some statements that I had made to the Dayton Daily News and to the media when they came around asking questions, you know, and I told them. They said, well, you know, who? where do you think everything went wrong? And I said, well, you know, the police failed Braden. Children's Services failed Braden. My son failed Braden. Kelsey failed Braden. His family failed Braden. And I failed Braden. It says it right there. All right? I have never once came out here and said, you know, I'm not, saying that my son's innocent. I've never done that. Not on the YouTube. You know, uh, I I always take accountability that he did that shit. I am the one that turned him into police and walked him to the police cruiser. I was also a witness for the state. But we have this idiot right here. This idiot right here that sits on Rich's panel lying all the fucking time and never gets changed. Mystery Maverick. Lack of accountability and deflection are his strong points. Where did I ever say Luke didn't do it? Where did I say I didn't fail, Braden? That's my strong point, right? It says right on there. They read right on there what I said. He would rather harass other victims of crime. Who am I harassing? Because, you know, Danelle's a fucking liar. And everybody sees it. Who, who am I harassing? You know, she called my house seven times in a row and refused to not stop calling even after I told her, you can't call, my kids are asleep. I don't give a shit. And then she said on Ken Maines' program over there and said that Darley's DNA was on the outside of that sock. The outside of that sock. And when it pissed Pamela Collins off, she messaged her. Like, why are you lying about that DNA being on the outside of the sock? You know what Danelle's fucking answer was? What does it matter? She knows damn well what, what it matters. Just the same thing when I told her, why did Darley and Darren not tell the police that they were having a fight that night and ask for a separation? She told me that was irrelevant. Is that how you guys are going to support support Darley Root here? Right? Mystery Maverick. Lack of accountability. Everybody that knows me, everybody that's watched my channel, everybody that knows me knows that I've never deflected from the case. I have never said my son didn't do it. And matter of fact, I'm not pretty much the only one in the family that, that will stand up to people that said he's innocent. He didn't do that. He didn't do Yes, he did. He fucking did it. He deserves what he got. I've always said that. But this fucking idiot right here who says that Waddell was asleep in his cruiser... This is what Rich Prater lets on his panel. Now, now realize how dumb this is. This is how dumb this is. Here's this woman who's defending someone that was convicted of killing two children to the point of lying about it. Waddell was asleep in his cruiser. He said she could only live a maximum of nine minutes. You're a liar, and you don't like it that I catch you in your lies. I feel bad for Rich Prater for letting idiots like you on his panel. Because you get caught in lies. But you're not going to make him look bad. I'm not going to take it out on him. I'm going to handle it and take it out with you. But anyways, you're protecting a woman that did kill two children. And is on death row for that. But you come in here to tell me I need to take some accountability? I need to make my son admit his guilt and take responsibility? Bitch, you can't make Darley admit her guilt, can you? I don't need to make my... You can't make... When somebody's lying that they're innocent, you can't make them say they're guilty. We've been dealing with that for 27 years with Darley Routier. But you're on a page telling me how how I shouldn't, you know, care about my son and why I'm deflecting. You put post anywhere where I ever deflected that my son did this shit, you stupid bitch. This is what Rich Prater lets on his panel, y'all. 
Everybody that knows me knows that I've always admitted that he did this. I've never tried to deflect from it. But this is what they try to do to run their point into the ground. Mr. Maverick, you going to have Sully make another video of, you, uh, of my son's case because you're too pussy to do it? You know she told people that, that you had her do that, right? So much for your friendship, right, bitch? You're getting on my fucking nerves with this bullshit right here. I haven't, ac I haven't had a lack of accountability, you dumb cunt. Now that I got that out of my system, Rich Prater, this is for you. You keep telling us that when we come over to your channel that you're not having any disrespect to the family because they're victims. You're not going to have any of that, right? And I realize this isn't on your channel. But this is this is harassment right here, dude. She goes to other places to do it, and then she gets on your fucking channel. Is this how we support Darley Routier? Do you have to do this? Do you have to kill the messenger so nobody hears the truth type of shit? Is that what you're trying to do? Because it won't work. She's going to be guilty till the day they put that needle in her arms. And she's going to be guilty after that. And she's going to be guilty when she faces judgment. And every one of you pieces of shit that do shit like this are guilty too.